This is what I get for talking shit. This is what I get. Let's see if we get this turd out. Welcome to the show, Rye Sucks. All right, so the theme for 2023 is gonna, hold on. My headphones are in my ears and the GPS is yelling at me. It never Turn ceases left to on whatever street because I'm a piece of in shit the worst and I'm gonna talk every time you thing. try to talk. Anyway, any hoodle rather, that's the theme. Everything is content. I am going to be uploading far more frequently, uh, possibly launching an OnlyFans really is what kind of where my head is. I haven't told my fiance about that part yet, but the thing is I'm not gonna let these waxings go to waste. I mean, I got them as a Christmas present and up I am trim from trunk to skunk, put it that way. Part of uploading more frequently means uh, just absolutely blindsiding my, my friends. I have very few friends that I call and talk to on a regular basis. And generally speaking, uh, none of them are on, on film ever, unless it's my private collection. <laughs> All right, it's kind of weird. But I'm going to meet my buddy Jacob because we're gonna start 2023 off with some gun stuff. That's what guns sound like. You know it's a situation when he says, hey, you gonna you can put that thing in four-wheel drive. Probably, probably put it in four-wheel drive. Well, good thing I got a mud truck. Well, I tell you what, I almost regret lowering my truck now as I'm driving through this swamp. Jeez. It's not really a swamp. It's just a moist hill, which is also the nickname for my belly. Oh, this is a bad idea. One of us is for sure getting stuck. Hopefully him. And then I can just leave him in the wilderness. Oh, okay, cool. So I gotta go. We gotta try to do this. He's almost got it. All right. I'm gonna try a different technique. I'm gonna call my technique the hammer down from way back here. Let's see what happens. Oh, my technique works way better than his technique. I did the old hammer down and he did the old graceful. Oh, he's where it slip slide. This is a terrible idea. You gotta goose it. Goose it. You're supposed to goose it, man. This is what I get for talking shit. This is what I get. Let's see if we get this turd out. Dude, I just, I did it to make him feel better. He's got this big old dually flatbed. I got this old peasant truck. I just washed my shirt, dude. I'm kind of pissed off. I wanted to make sure you felt. I just wanted to make sure you felt like you did something today. Oh, uh, we gonna go down that ravine up there too? Yeah. Uh, I mean, the shooting's over there, but it's not that bad right there. I hope. You said that about this hill. All right, let's do it. Good. Oh yeah, no, we're good. The hat means a lot to me. <laughs> it's good. Why the fuck is my light on? Here, I got it. There you go. There's so much going on. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. All right, so what we're shooting is SIG MPX with a EOTech, Daniel Defense DDM4 with a uh, AMG UH1 red dot, red dot and a Juliet magnifier. And then this little 10 and a half inch lightweight gem in 5.56 that I put together. And then this guy's got all the dingles. He's got, he's got the, the quiet boy. He's got the flashy boy. The stuff that I can't afford guy and the really the really ritzy. I didn't even notice you had a red dot mount up there too. Yeah, man. Shit. Dude. <laughs> Alright, so I put this together. It's a ten and a half inch uh 556 five, Odin Works lightweight barrel, uh, lightweight bulk carrier group, hollow sun. And I hadn't shot it before today. I shot it 
and it's kind of on the money but it's a little bit of a nightmare factory as far as the muzzle brake goes so i'm gonna let jacob shoot it instead yeah. of me it's it's so excited it's good it's good let's tee it up and see what, what it's got ready? yeah get away from the truck yeah. though guys ready yeah hold let me put it in slow-mo one sec okay. yeah you're good I was born for this. Woo Buddy, that's step one, stupid. Freedom right there. All right, we're all done shooting, and now we gotta try to make our way out of this treacherous wet hole. That's what he said? So this one sucks. It's that left-hander through this dip and then up the side of that hill. It's actually not as bad going back, doesn't look like. Yeah, he's fine. Okay, good, he made it. Hopefully I can make it. Let's just wing it, huh? Oh yeah, like butter, dude. Can't believe it's not. Oh, this is the one that sucks. This is where I got stuck before. I'm gonna hang a wide Ronald and then bring it in, Lucy. Oh shit. Power through, power through. Oh no. All right, that's enough of the gun sports for the day. I will say, uh, I'm very sorry, Jacob. The clip you just saw, with his truck getting stuck. Uh, it didn't get stuck, he made it out. He was able to get the truck out, but uh, the, the transmission's not the happiest thing in the world now. So I'm very sorry for whatever it was that caused that because you were nice enough to have me out on your property to shoot and then you ended up possibly messing your truck up. So sorry about that. We are back though. I'm gonna get all this stuff unloaded and then talk about the Caprice for a minute and let you know where we stand on this thing because it is very close to running, even though it doesn't look like it is. It is very close to running. We have manifolds hung, they're not tightened up, but this kind of gives you an overview of how this turbo kit does go together. You can also see those welds on the old wastegate. Those are sick. Mike Cotton, faster with Finnegan, um, really an awesome dude. He hits us up on Drag Week. I don't know if you guys watched that series at all. He calls us because we posted in the Drag Week group that we had a crack in, our, in the wastegate. It was developing and he's like, well, come on out. We'll knock it out. And this is like middle. Like we should not have been working on a car at this point in time. And uh, took the old MIG welder and I went to town. That sucker got all the flux and uh, did fine. No leaks anymore. Ready to rock and roll. We're going to go back and get crossover tube hooked up, get the turbo kit back on and assembled. And then I get a bust open this fresh as F and P F P box that's full of the new boost maker for the Caprice. Give you a little clarity on the turbo kit and how the hot side works on this. If you haven't seen before, get my light out here. You see that manifold goes down towards the back like a normal truck manifold. This manifold comes up and towards the forward, towards the forward, but also has a downspout back there. So your headers, let me crawl up underneath this old girl. Ugh. All right, so from the bottom side, that is the driver's side manifold I just showed you. That's the crossover. I'm sorry, that's the V-band flange that hooks up to a crossover tube. Exhaust flows out of this hole, goes through the crossover and into that hole, then feeding the front of that manifold and spinning the turbo. So there's like Hooker has a Blackheart series that is similar in nature to this. Um, this is an eBay kit. It was cheap. It was a couple hundred dollars for everything. Um, and it, it worked out okay. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it does the job. Also, shout out Circle D. Appreciate you guys getting my torque converter, Pete Nichols at Circle D, with the uh, 
with the spec job, the old SJ, and uh, ready to rock and roll. Well, not ready to rock and roll, but that gives you an idea of how this turbo kit operates. You got exhaust out, through a crossover, and then exhaust goes in there, and then spins the old spoolie boy. Again, top side, so the crossover feeds this. These runners all feed this log as well. Exhaust gases are shot forward through this up pipe section and into the actual turbo. You can see this turbo has seen some stuff. We, we put it through a little bit of hell, but um, we have a replacement and it's gonna be nice. Very excited. All right, and if you think you're gonna learn anything from that shipping label, you're not. That is the address to Dynasty, the shop I work at. So that's not my home, suckers. All right, forced performance with the support. This is what happens when you order from Forced Performance. This is what you receive. Open the box. The first thing you're going to get, you see a little packet. This packet says, scan me. So you're going to scan that. So you have an instruction manual. You have, oh, they got mints now. There's mints involved. Mints. Oil drain gasket. You also have your turbo flange gasket. Not that I, I'm not just, I'm only dropping that out of the way is it to make room. Don't get upset, Robert. Foam packing. And the new boost maker. Shh. Uh, yeah. uh. All right. This thing looks fancy. I'm excited. All right. A little bit of a better up close and personal shot. This is an FP HD80. This is an 8082 T4 flange. This sucker is gonna make more power than this engine will hold. And as a matter of fact, I don't know what this engine will hold because I'm the one that rebuilt it. So in all honesty, I really don't even need the turbo to hurt it, but I'm gonna do my best with the turbocharger to really destroy it. But these are all priced in line with what you'd expect for let's just call it what it is, a Chinese-based turbo. So you have a couple different companies that offer these cheap turbochargers, and um, a lot of them have really good product support. A lot of them are terrible product support. The one thing about FP is they don't hide behind a veil of like, this is American billet. No, they say what it is. It's priced the way it's priced because they are internationally sourced parts. The difference is FP goes through every single one of these turbochargers and inspects it, builds it to their spec, balances it, everything in house, and stands behind it a thousand percent. So you spend less money for a turbocharger up front, but you end up getting the support you would get with an otherwise much more expensive turbocharger. No groundbreaking revelations today. The goal is just to get as much terrible content up as possible and try to weed out as many subscribers as possible. So if you guys didn't dig what you watched today, blame Rye, it's not my fault. He talked into a camera about his new engine for 10 minutes, and you guys watched that video more than anything I've put up in the last three months. My only assumption is because he had his beard shaved to a lower spec that you thought it was me in the video, and then you were just like, I better watch it because I feel guilty. But the goal here is crap content 24-7 coming straight from crap that clapped out. Goodbye.